Alright guys, time for another review. Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a review of a sneaker that I've never even seen before. My dad just miraculously put it in my closet. And I think these are super underrated and they have a really interesting look to them. I think you guys are going to like these. These are the Jordan 1 Inside Out Crafts. Now, this is the black colorway. These are the mid tops. These are technically a Jordan 1 mid. But to be honest with you, they are pretty much the exact same height as the Jordan 1 High. So, in my eyes, they're basically a Jordan 1 High with a Wings logo on the back. If you just blur this part out, it actually will look like a low, which is kind of interesting. Now, just to give you guys a brief background about these, they came out a few months ago, I believe, and they have a, a mid-top and a white and a black colorway. Obviously, these are the black colorway. The white colorway are right here. And then they also have a low-top version in a black and a white colorway. I personally think that the white low tops are probably one of the cooler ones but I also like the white high tops and the black high tops now here's a little look at the shoe I haven't really seen these anywhere on YouTube really let me take the paper out because these are literally brand new um I got them from Hibbit Sports if you guys don't know what it is it's like one of the biggest retailers that drops shoes it was sitting for around retail, so I, my dad just picked them up for me to review them because I haven't seen them on YouTube, like I've said. So, let's look at the details of the shoe. On this side, it actually looks like very, I want to say futuristic, but it looks very different to a regular Jordan 1. It's got like this orange thing on the swoosh, and all the panels on the side are black. So. They're different shades of like gray and black. So this is kind of like a lighter shade of gray. Whereas this front toe box area is completely black. And then obviously on top of the toe, you have this silvery suede slash like a gray suede. You have the infamous Nike uh, Jumpman Air on the tongue, which is not usual for Jordan ones. They usually have like the Nike Air like how the the regular ones are like the taxis and that's gonna turn a lot of people off but personally i think it looks pretty cool how it's embossed into the tongue itself so yeah there's like a few different colors going on and they're different materials this part is kind of like a scratchy these remind me of like the jordan one canvases on this part the swoosh is kind of like a, a rough material as well but it's slightly lighter in color and then the back is kind of like a suede kind of material and then this just feels like a regular Jordan 1 low heel tab and then you also have foam on top we'll get to that in a minute so yeah a lot of material is going on on the shoe on the medial side it's basically just a mirror of the lateral side except it doesn't have those orange perforations on the swoosh and then as far as the laces go you just have a regular black style lace you got like this suede panel up top that's black as well that actually feels like pretty decent the materials are like somewhat of a mixed bag I would say because the this black leather on the toe is really, really bad. This is like the worst quality on the shoe. But then this nappy suede is extremely soft. Like I wish you guys could just feel how soft this is. The heel tab, also probably one of the worst quality parts of the shoe. And then this part is like pretty, pretty uh, soft and like not very rigid compared to most ones. You can see I can pretty much squeeze the entire top of the shoe. And they overall just do look more narrow than the usual one. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm pretty sure that they are more now. Uh, this nappy suede is pretty rough. This suede is definitely the best part of the shoe. The outsole just got that regular Jordan brand 
Jordan 1 outsole. And then you also have like this one yellow um, bit on the laces that is kind of cool. It's like a greenish yellow. I don't know what the significance of that is. As far as the other shoe goes, same deal really. You got the orange perforation on the side. And uh, on this side, it's like the same thing. The top, the top does have like this exposed foam look to it, kind of like an off-white, right? That kind of looks like an off-white vibe to it right there on that super thick tongue. I wonder how comfortable these are. I haven't even tried them on yet. On the inside of the shoe, you have an orange, bright orange insole, and the size tag is actually in a pretty good spot right on the back. It's usually you know, like in the shoe and it's hard to get to, but in this case it is right in a very accessible position. It is missing that yellow piece on this shoe. I don't know why that's on the other shoe. Like as you can see, there's like a yellow bit right here. Kind of strange, but overall, pretty cool shoe in my opinion very underrated and you guys can pick these up i believe they're even going for a little bit below retail on the secondary market which is even better the box actually looks like a jordan 2 box so it's got like the wings logo on on both sides and on the top as you can see it says air jordan it kind of almost looks like the dior box which is pretty cool Here's the size tag, even though I'm sure that you won't really find pics of these because they're sitting for retail. Of course, you got that sticker on the inside that comes with the most authentic pairs. Pretty cool box. It's not like a regular Jordan 1 or a regular Jordan 1 mid box. But yeah, I'm not going to draw this out for too long. Um, yeah, in terms of like price predictions, I see these pretty much staying at retail for the time being and yeah that is that's the shoe right there these are the jordan one made inside out craft in the black colorway if you want a pair don't hesitate to grab them um i do have an insane amount of shoes coming in you guys are gonna love what i got next these are probably the least hype pair of everything that i have so very excited to bring you guys some more stuff. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you all later.